Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 3 assignment of programming in Python CEC course. Friends, these are 100% correct solutions. There is no doubt in that. Even though if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. I will definitely solve those regarding this assignment. And please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip the video, you may miss uh, the content I will give in between the video or if I change any answer, uh, please uh, watch the video till the end so that you can cannot miss any content. So let's see the first question. Syntax refers to dash that define the structure of a language. So we know that syntax is a rule. So first option is correct. Moving on to the second question. An identifier can begin with an underscore. So it is true. It may not be start uh, started with a number, but it can be started with underscore, but not with any other symbol. So answer is true. First option. And moving on to the third question. Python is a case sensitive language. So it is again true python is a case sensitive language and moving on to fourth question which of the following symbol is used for comment in python so we already know that it is hash hash symbol we use for uh, comment in python so it is the symbol for comment if you want to type uh, a comment first we have to use hashtag and we should type any comment we want to do and moving on to the fifth question an ordered sequence of items is called we know the ordered sequence is list that is last option and moving on to the sixth question lists are enclosed in so lists are enclosed in square brackets that means second option the third option is about tuple and the first one is about dictionaries so the answer is second option which is for list that is square brackets and moving on to the seventh question the symbol used for floor division is so the answer is second option So mark second option as correct answer for seventh question and moving on to the eighth question what is the output of 12 modulus 5 we know that modulus means reminder so when we divide 12 by 5 we will get 2 as reminder because 5 2 is 10 so 2 will be remind after uh, subtracting 10 from 12 so we will get 2 as reminder so the answer is first option 2 is the correct answer for 8th question and moving on to the ninth question which of the following is a member membership operator there are two membership operators that one is uh, first one is in and second one is not in so they give only one uh, one of the membership operator that is in so mark first option as correct answer for ninth question and moving on to the tenth one if a is equals 1010 and b is equals 0100 then what will be the output of a ampersand b here the symbol ampersand represents an operator that means if both zeros then the answer will be zero and even though there is one one and one zero then answer will be zero only if there are two ones then only we will get one as output here compare the first bit with the of a with first bit of b one and zero so we will get first bit zero so like that there are no any uh, ones corresponding to both a and b because so everything will become zero the answer is first option so friends these are the solutions for week 3 assignment of pro programming in python course hope this video is helpful for you if you have any doubts please 
ask in the comment section i will try to reply for the valid queries so keep supporting our channel subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends so until then goodbye thank you